up libra it's deb with goddess of the moon tarot i hope that you guys are doing well i hope that this video finds you safe whoa my door just slammed <laughs> okay but i do have my window open but let's get started also shout out to all of my soul tribe members that are supporting the channel i appreciate i appreciate the love and support you guys definitely okay and then also, if you are new here and you've been resonating with the channel, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Also hit the post notification bell before you leave. Definitely appreciate any energy exchanges, okay guys? All right, Libra, let's see what's going on this week for you. Middle world, present. Stop living in the past. Your desire for yesteryear is holding you back. Fear for the future does not serve you. Release your worries. Make a list of all you are grateful for. Meditate to help you focus on the present. Strike a balance between roles is key. Okay. So it's like learning how to balance. Um, I'm believing what I'm hearing and what I'm believing is that it's duality between spirit world and also reality okay so spirituality and reality <laughs> all right let's get some more also i am open for personals right now libra so if you're interested in booking a personal check out the description box there's instructions on how to do so and also my instagram people that are on instagram i do have an instagram and the link is also in the description box. If you follow me, I will give you a follow back. The first hundred people I'm following back. And if you follow me and then you unfollow me, I'm gonna unfollow you because it's not fair for the people who actually want to follow me. So um, I wanna give everybody a chance that actually want to follow the page, all right? Okay, let's do one more shuffle, Libra. Eight of this yeah so you've been putting in work when it comes to your spiritual life and when it comes to your material life okay that's why we had between worlds being present not being too far in the past but also not being too far in the future so it's like working on what is now what is reality for you right now okay so we got four of wands, the lovers, king of cups, five of wands, ten of discs, queen of wands, and the death card all right so libra what i'm feeling is that it's interesting because this has something to do with your foundation this has something to do with your home life something to do with what you see as stable and your stability possibly even a lover okay because we got the lover's card here gemini energy but i feel like what's going on is that you're putting in a lot of work to get something stable for your family. Possibly you want to introduce yourself to something new and you just want to make sure that the foundation is balanced off. You don't want to be in la la land, like imagining too much, but you also don't want to have too many things that are um, made into some type of foundation without actually connecting to reality. And then with the King of Cups, there is a love connection that wants to come in. So I feel like that's what you're preparing for. Maybe this is your energy wanting to connect with someone or it could be someone wanting to connect with you. It could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. And what's interesting about it is while you're trying to do that, there is a lot of confliction going on. So either your surrounding areas are conflicted and the choices that you're making are 
There could be just a lot of people that are pining for the same type of stability that you want. So it could come off as kind of like a competition, but I'm feeling that you're going to be overcoming all of that because the 10 of this is right here. So that eight of this energy that you're working on is going to move up to the 10 of this. So whatever you're working on is going to prosper and you're going to have that stable home, the happy foundation, the legacy, the finances. Then we got the queen of wands, which is Leo Sagittarius Aries energy. This is someone who's very confident. Okay. And I feel like this could be your, your partner or this could be just um, sim symbolizing that you have a lot of confidence within yourself. And you're willing to go through the transformation with the death card right here. So it's like whatever is necessary for you to get the stability, to get this firm foundation, that's what you're willing to put in. You're willing to put in the work for that. What's the four of wands for Libra? Okay, so now we got the high priestess interesting so it's like your intuition i'm getting hot y'all i gotta tie my hair up real quick so it's like your intuition is on point right now i feel like you're getting a lot of intuitive messages intuitive downloads yeah got the ace of swords right here so the divine is really speaking to you right now you're possibly having a lot of dreams a lot of confirmations are coming to you then we got the temperance card this is sagittarius energy so as long as you remain in self-control don't get ahead of yourself is what i'm hearing then things will work out in your favor what's the lover's card seven of cups Whew. I'm about to do the other readings in a, a tank top or something because I'm sweating. This is ridiculous. Okay. Matter of fact, let me turn on the fan, y'all. Give me a second. Okay, we're back, y'all. So, we got the Ten of Swords. The six of this and the five of this. So what I feel is that there was possibly a home situation that you were in in the past and that home situation did not work out for you because it was too much confusion because we got the seven of cups right here. So you ended up having to end this situation possibly was a harsh ending for you but it was just you were getting a lot of bread crumbing okay so someone was not giving you what you deserve someone was only giving you what they felt like they wanted to give you because possibly this person had someone else or something else that they were giving to and you felt like you were being left out with the five of this so you moved away, you moved away from the situation to go towards something else that's new with the lover's card. It was just too much confusion, too many illusions, okay? And then I feel like once you decided to end the situation, you probably came in contact with someone that is interesting to you. You might be fantasizing about this person. You might be having telepathic messages to them is what I'm feeling. They could for you too, okay? What's under here? Ace of this. You guys both want something stable. You guys both want something that's going to last. Yeah, see, it's like you're in a resting state right now. In between worlds right now. What's the lover's card? Ooh, the ten of cups. That's what I figured. This is going to be your love, your ultimate love. This is going to be your family. This is going to be unconditional love. Okay. And let's see. King of this. Stability is going to come in for, with this. There's going to be a lot of truths that are spoken. Someone wants to speak the truth. Someone wants to say something. It could be you, Libra, because that is your sign, the King of Swords. But the will is right here. You got the will of fortune. So good fortune, prosperity is coming in this 
this family connection that's going to happen. Okay, what's the King of Cups? Eight of Dis again. So, it is going to take a, some work to put in this connection, okay? So, you might have to spend a little bit of money or you might have to, you know, depending on what's going on. Because if this person, because we did have the King of Swords and he was on a horse. So, if this person is at a distance from you, you might have to travel towards them or they might have to travel towards you. It's going to be a little bit of, um, it's not going to be easy like this if this person lived in the same area or the same I feel like whoever it is that you're connecting with they live outside of your area so you guys are gonna have to travel towards each other this five of wands I feel like there's a lot of jealousy on the outside but I feel like you're ignoring it what's the five of wands Ooh, was there a card that flipped right there Ooh, it's a couple, few cards that just came out Yep, Ace of Swords. Yeah, there is some people that are jealous or envious. Okay. So we got the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Six of Cups. Eight of Wands. Six of Wands. The High Priestess, the Prince of Cups, Four of Cups, and the King of Wands. Okay. So the people, I feel like it's multiple people because what's happening is there is people on your side and there's people on the person that you're going to. There's, there's people on their side that are envious of everything they're envious of both of you guys okay even if they don't know you like your people don't know the person that you're going to or their people don't know who you are there's still just envy and jealousy that's surrounded because these people don't know how to be stable on their own they don't know how to provide for themselves okay and they always try to pull the i've known you forever card Okay, they always try to pull the fact that they had a connection with you in the past. They want to bring up past memories, nostalgia, just to try to keep you from going towards anything new. And then we got the Eight of Wands. So like I said, I feel like you're going to have to do some traveling to communicate with your new person outside of that. And once you do that, there's going to be a celebration with the Six of Wands. So... It's going to be a victory, okay? You're going to feel like it was all worth it in the end. This person that you're traveling towards might be a high priestess. They could be a Pisces or Cancer. Um, could be any sign, right? But this person is very intuitive. That's why I feel like you guys probably have telepathic communication or you're kind of talking to each other in a different realm. But this high priestess has someone who wants to offer them an apology probably because whoever they left or whoever left them did not treat this high priestess right so now this person wants to apologize before you come towards them because they feel like they're going to be rejected and and it's probably you know they have a feeling of regret because this is also the five of cups because they didn't pay attention to the connection they had with this high priestess probably didn't even look at their worth like they were supposed to this person was pretty arrogant because the king of wands can be seen as someone confident but i feel like this person was arrogant could have been a fire sign leo sagittarius aries but yeah now they're seeing that you guys together or they feel it i feel like this person feels that you're going to manifest with this person the ten of this and they're going to be left out what's under here Yep, look, there's the Five of Cups right there when I just pointed out. Yeah, they feel regret. They feel remorseful. They should have took the time to do what they needed to do and um, basically establish this commitment when they had it. See, they're upset because you got the Ten of Cups. They wanted the Ten of Cups with them, but it's not happening now. 
nope, it's not happening now. This person was materialistic, the king of devs. They really just cared about finances. So probably the high priestess didn't have much at the time when they were with them. So they took it for granted that they probably thought that they wouldn't have or they didn't know who they were. That's what I'm feeling. And it was probably divine protection for why, because they're meant to be with you. What's the ten of devs? Ooh, that's too many. Let's see. The strength card. Mm. Queen of Swords. And the Five of Cups. Yeah. So, I feel like your partner... And it might be you, you're cutting out this person. You're cutting out this person and leaving them in regret because you know what is to come for, for you in the long run, the ten of this. And you're using strength for whatever it is that you're going towards. You got the strength card, what's under here, magician. You're manifesting this so that you can walk into your purpose, walk into your destiny, have this complete healing yeah yeah you no longer want to be put into like a victim mentality if you're the one that had to deal with this i feel like both of you guys dealt with harsh past situations or people taking advantage of you and i feel like that's why the universe is granting you guys both this wish because of the work that you have put in so we got the queen of wands what's this queen of wands Eight of Cups. Yeah, so like I said, this person is walking away as well. This Queen of Wands is walking away as well from something that they had love for, okay? But it's not serving them, see? They felt like they were stuck. They felt like they were being stagnated and they were not able to do what they needed to do. They made a decision and a choice to go down a different path. They didn't see that path as worth it. They rather put in the work in for themselves to manifest the ten of discs, but I feel like now that they've proven to the universe that they're willing to do that, that's why you guys are coming together, and that's why this transformation is happening. Scorpio energy. What's the death card? Ooh. Okay, so we got the chariot. It might have been a cancer. It might be a cancer. The prince of discs. Three of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Okay. So they put a death, an ending to this energy, the Prince of Death, someone who basically was only giving them a little bit of an offer. This person wasn't stepping up to the plate to make anything stable. This person basically was wasting their time, is what I'm feeling same as you okay and because of that they went through a heartbreak okay the three of swords so this person has been through um pain betrayal and they asked the universe to give them a wish and i feel like you're their wish okay that's why they're moving forward with the chariot card this person has been in hermit mode, so they've really stayed to themselves. They really haven't been talking to a lot of people. They've really just been studying and getting a lot of wisdom and a lot of knowledge. They might have Virgo in their chart. Yeah, because they know that this new beginning is coming. That's you guys right there together. Starting something with the foundation that the divine has given you. You both are very creative. So this person is probably... Um, have a lot of creative ideas and so do you so combined together you can create magic <laughs> is what i just heard okay Ew. let's get you guys a gym change this shirt because I'm hot <laughs> okay amber number 21 so 
This right here is the solar plexus, and then that's the yoga pose, okay? Right now, our sunny nature is at its maximum potential. We feel full of energy and we have the strength to commit ourselves to large and difficult undertakings. This is not the moment to stand idle. It is best that we act, perhaps in a group where we manage to attain a, a leadership position naturally. Others trust us and we do not dilute them. Amber improves and protects our health in general, loads us with vitality and helps to socialize. It is optimal for those who are shy and for situations where we must speak in public. I think that I pulled this for you guys last week. I don't know if it was last week or the week before that, but it's really going to be a good gem to have because I feel like it's going to take a lot of leadership roles and willing to work together and just coming out of your box because maybe in the past you felt like you wasted a lot of time with people but I feel like this person is actually going to reproach they're going to give the same type of energy you're giving so you won't feel like you're in it alone okay so that is what I have for you Libra if this helped please don't forget to like comment hit the subscribe button right there share hit the post notification bell and I will talk to you guys later deuces